Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about something so just nasty that I really feel like we need to prepare ourselves and protect ourselves somehow. So if you're an OG subscriber, I guess, you'll know that to prepare ourselves for these moments, we spray the holy water. The thing is I don't have any, so what we do instead is use setting spray to try and protect us from the evil that we're about to encounter. This being said, Definitely feels holier because it smells like lavender and I love lavender. Since 2018 has been a year of comedy and I mean that in the worst way possible, kind of like all these terrible things that aren't supposed to be happening are happening. People are trying to add P to LGBT, Q, I, A, whatever, because pedosexual apparently is a thing. I'm not gonna get started, but things of that nature have been happening and I just can't imagine any other year where it would happen where I would actually believe in and be like, yeah, that's possible. Alas, we have a new example of why 2018 has sucked. Nathan Larson is a pedophile and a white supremacist and he's running for Congress. So to be fair, when I see white supremacist, I'm immediately a little skeptical, the same way that I get skeptical when I hear someone say racist, just because I feel like those terms are thrown around so openly and easily that they're losing their meaning. To me, racism and, you know, white supremacy are those kinds of terms where I have to actually check, like, is this actual white supremacy or are people just trying to be grandiose and extra and call someone something that they aren't? But here it is entirely, entirely white supremacy. Nathan Larson, this dude, who totally looks the part, you'll, you'll see, a man who advocates pedophilia, white supremacy, and rape, and who served 16 months in prison for threatening to kill the president, is running for Congress. You're just taken on a wild ride immediately in this. Like, there is no bullshitting. Like, pedophilia, white supremacy, rape, threatening to kill the president. Okay, in a rambling, hate-filled stream of consciousness he calls his campaign manifesto, Larson laid out his views on the world. A fan of Nazi leader Adolf Hitler, Larson said he wants to restore benevolent white supremacy. Okay. Rebuild the patriarchy, eliminate child labor laws, and legalize early marriage. He has also advocated for the legalization of incest and child pornography. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Where, where do I start with this? Can someone tell me where am I supposed to start with a guy who's, who wants to legalize incest, who's okay with early marriage, who's down for rape, who likes Hitler, who... Uh, I... No. No! Everyone out of the universe! Quick! <sighs> I think I'm going to implode. You know, there's usually one problematic thing about people. And I think one of the craziest things about this is how open he is with all of this. Like, I'm glad he is open about it. So now we know, you know, like who's a piece of shit, sure. But it's almost like on my wacky YouTube series, it's very weird seeing people act against the norm in such extreme ways like this, you know? Like, these are the typical things you should be ashamed of, and I hope he's ashamed of them. The fact that he's saying all these things openly is very troubling just because it makes me feel like he assumes he's safe, you know? And I told my mom about this on the phone and she's like, how are they not going after him? And I'm like, they have to find something because if he's just rambling with all this shit of like pedophilia and racism or whatever, what can they really charge him for? They could tr like hate speech and even then, like I don't, I don't want to get into what I think about hate speech, but it's just crazy how comfortable he seems with all of this, which makes me more and more sure he's lost his fucking marbles, dived off the deep end, whatever the saying is, I don't care, this guy is fucking batshit crazy. You want to tell them how you feel about all this? He's creepy. I don't like him. Not a fan. Ew. Yeah, I agree. So then, when asked if he is a pedophile or just wrote pedophiliac sex fantasies, Larson told HuffPost Thursday, It's a mix of both. When people go over the top, there's a grain of truth to what they say. Now, 
let me just say something. If you're writing a certain type of sex fantasy, it's very hard for me to believe that it doesn't turn you on, you know? Like, if anyone ever asked me or hired me to write a sex fantasy that included children, I would not be able to write that because that is not, my turn-ons do not lie in the illegal, disgusting, and gross, okay? Well, you know what I mean? So the fact that he writes these fantasies to me is a very clear indicator that he is a pedophile, and if he tried to deny that, I think it would be stupid, honestly. Given his views, Larson acknowledged to the news site that his candidacy is a long shot, but he said that he thought he has a chance amid blowback against political correctness. Now, see, this guy gives people that are against political correctness a bad name. Being against political correctness to me is about being able to talk about things and not needing a billion safe spaces, about talking about facts without people losing their minds, about being able to appreciate other people's cultures without it being called cultural appropriation. Uh, being against political correctness is about not throwing the word racist around. It's, not, it's about not calling anyone canceled for something they did in the past that they have apologized or atoned for. Being against political correctness is about being against hypersensitivity, okay? What this guy wants has nothing to do with political correctness, if you ask me. I think he just wants to legalize the disgusting things he wants to do, and it, there's no moral of, like, we gotta fight against the hypersensitivity. No. No. Okay? And I've mentioned this before, and people will always come up with arguments about, like, why incest is okay or whatever, and I'm never gonna agree with that, but all the things he wants are hubris-centered, if you ask me. So there is no principle, there is no virtue that's pushing this man forward like a fight against political correctness. And that's something that really bothers me because political correctness is important to me, like being against it is important to me, and this guy like trying to put all of his disgusting agenda under this thing of, oh, I'm anti-political correctness. No, bitch, you're a pedophile, you're a rapist, you are an incel. There are articles where they prove that he ran two websites, even was proud of raping his ex-wife, okay? So you, my shit sir, have nothing to do with a fight against political correctness, okay? Let's just get rid of that. Okay, listen to this. A lot of people are tired of political correctness and being constrained by it, Larson told HuffPost. People prefer when there's an outsider who doesn't have anything to lose and is willing to say what's on a lot of people's minds. Oh, this is stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is! It's about to get all stupid up in here! People like an outsider who has nothing to lose, sure, but they don't want that outsider to be someone who might want to have sex with their three-year-old child. They also don't want that outsider to be the one who has sex with his own three-year-old child. I don't know if he has kids. Examples. So, you see, you don't fit the category of outsider, you fit more the category of someone who should be behind bars. So, no. Like, I, I can see what you're going for, but no, that's not a possibility for you. According to Larson, whites differ from other races because our cultural creativeness, our willingness to invest in the long term rather than living for today, and our conscientious desire to do the right thing, even if it requires heroic self-sacrifice for the good of society. Aren't you the one who wants to have sex with kids, though? Like, where is this heroic self-sacrifice? Aren't you the one who likes Hitler? The one who's responsible for the death of millions of Jewish people, gay people, I mean... The cognitive dissonance here is mind-boggling, like, I'm absolutely baffled. He believes Congress should repeal the Violence Against Women Act and that women should be treated as sex slaves and baby factories. We need to switch to a system that classifies women as property, initially of their fathers and later of their husbands. So we're going back to the 1600s, essentially. Just buy a woman, put her in the closet, feed her three times a day, hope she doesn't die, make her pop out a baby and put her back in the closet. I don't know, like, it sounds like you're buying cups or something, like, I... Honestly, you know when you have those moments of laughter, but your eyes are like tearing up because you're laughing because you're just like <laughs> What the fuck? 
that's where I'm at here. Larson also said sexual harassment only occurs because there are attractive females in the workplace when it would be better if those girls got married no later than early teens so that they could spend their young womanhood in the marital home under the protection of their husband. So essentially you need to hide, the, you need to get the girls married young and then hide them away so they don't get harassed instead of having people just not be dicks and not harass people. Got it, thanks for that note. Larson's view on sex and gender is laden with terminology often found in the misogynistic threads that populate dark corners of the internet on sites like 4chan. He constantly refers to cucks, alphas, betas, omegas, gammas, and incels. I don't really want to read any more of this, you know, my will to live already dwindles daily, so this is not... <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'm honestly disgusted and never want to leave my house ever again. Uh, let me know what you think about all of his law ideas, and yeah, thank you guys for going through this with me. Thank you as always to my patrons. Now let's get straight into the fan art and try to forget this video was ever recorded.